Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can generate the encoded string for the basic authentication. In our previous video, when we sent the request to the secure endpoints, we have hard coded the encoded string inside our feature file. And this is not the good approach. We should always generate the encoded string for basic authentication based on the username and password. To solve this problem, I'm going to create a small JavaScript function that is going to generate the encoded string based on the username and password supplied. In the top level package, I'm going to add a JavaScript file. And the reason behind of keeping the JavaScript file in the top level package is because it is a reusable code. So any feature file can reuse that code to generate the encoded string. And let me call it as basicauth.js. Inside this JavaScript file, I'm going to create a small function that is going to use the Java library for generating the encoded string based on the username and password supplied. So let me create the function. And in this function, I'm going to pass the credential that will contain the username and password. So inside this method, first I'm going to combine the username and password that will be delimited by the colon character. And the value of the username and password can be get using this variable. After this, I need to access the Java API for generating the encoded string. Karate framework provide a way by which you can access the Java library inside the JavaScript function. So this is the class which I'm going to use to generate the encoded string. Inside this class, we have methods available using which we can get the encoder and decoder both. So first I need to access those API in our JavaScript function. So for that, we need to use this syntax java.type. And inside this, I need to specify the API along with the package. And I'm going to store the reference into a variable. Now I can use this variable to access all the APIs which are present inside this class. So the API which we are going to use is this one. So first we are going to get the encoder that will return as the object of type encoder. And inside this class, there is a method called encode to string, which will generate the encoded string for us. So base 64 dot get encoder dot encode to string. The parameter to this method is a byte array. That means we need to convert this information into a byte array. And that can be done by calling the bytes method. So this is going to convert the info object into a byte array. And then I will store the encoded string in a variable. After that, I'm going to return the encoded string. But before returning the encoded string, I'm going to prepend that with the basic because that is the keyword which we need to attach with the basic auth. And now I can use this JavaScript function inside my feature file. So in this feature file, I'm going to create one more scenario call that JavaScript function here to generate the encoded string based on the username and password supplied. So after the given statement, I will create a variable that will store the encoded string. And in order to invoke the JavaScript function, I will use the call followed by the read method. Now let me open the location of our feature file to identify 
how we can access the JavaScript file from there. So this is the location where we have our feature file and the JavaScript function is present at the top level package. So this will be the location to access the JavaScript file. Now, once I have the information, first let me print it and then I can use that information inside the header. As this is a JSON object, so I need to use the embedded expression to access the value of this variable. And along with the read method, I need to specify the username and password because this JavaScript function needs that. And make sure that in the JSON object which you are passing to this JavaScript function, you use the same variable which you have utilized in this function. And now let me run this runner. So all the scenario are passing. Let us look at the console. So this is the encoded string which we got it using the JavaScript function. So in this manner, you can use the JavaScript function to generate the encoded string for the basic authentication. Mm -hmm.